Okay guys, loads and loads of people asked about an updated hair tutorial um, and what I'm going to do is going to give you a slightly blow dried finish but you do it by using one of these big fat tongs. So we're going to start in rows, so we're going to go from the bottom layer here and then just get this out of the way. Then we're going to take this hair and we're going to go forwards around the barrel. You're going to need to put some hair protectant on beforehand because these get very, very hot and they will burn your hair and we have seen the video of the girl whose hair burns off. Okay, so then we're just going to let that go and let it fall out like that. And move on to the next section. So back round we go in the same direction. So we're going forwards. Then once you've done that piece, we're going to go back to our section. This section of hair is about an inch wide. And we're going to take a section of that. And this time, we're going to take our tongue, we're going to go backwards around the barrel. Now what this will mean is that all the curls won't loop into one big curl. So often if you want like a 40s wave, so you want it all going in the same direction, then you'll curl it all in the same direction. But because I want it slightly more blow dried with a bit more volume, I'm mixing it up a bit. You can often find when you're using tongs or GHDs that you don't really get to the root so that the hair end up looking kind of flat. And I think this is a really great way to get a little bit of volume into it. So next section. Now if you don't feel comfortable wrapping the hair around the barrel, you can always... Oh, my hair's a bit long now, but let's try that again, shall we? You can always wind it up around the barrel. I know some people prefer to do that. Then we'll go to the next section of hair. And we'll do the same thing, but going in the opposite direction. So the same way we were going the first time round, underneath. And around we go this way. I just pulled that out slightly, I don't know if you saw just to make sure that my ends were tucked in so that they're not all kind of fly away and crazy. And then out it comes. Now to do all of that, it has taken me about 15 minutes. Now, what do you do with the front? Well, it depends what the front's like. For me, the front of my hair is kind of long because I had a fringe and then I grew it out. Don't put the tongs on it because it's going to go crazy if it's this length and you won't be able to do anything to it. So you can either blow dry it straight and take it over to that side, or you can take it over to that side, which is my preferred side, as you can see it lays better on that side. So just pop a little bit of hairspray through, give it a little shake, and you'll get a bit of volume in there. And I hope that that has been useful for you guys. If you have liked it then, and you want to see more, then let me know what you want to see more of. If you've got any specific hairstyles that you want to know how to do, I'm not a trained hairdresser, but I am self-taught and I can show you really easy ways to do hair, um, as long as it's something that can be done easily. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff that we love it when you do, and um, I'll see you and speak to you later. Bye bye.